21st day of July 2011. And we're going to be here live for at least the next three hours. We have a couple of uh, well-known comedians. Uh, one of them, uh, of course, a frequent guest on national television programs. Joining us who are Obama supporters coming up in the third hour. So I'm going to have an interesting uh, discussion with both of them uh, here on air and ask them some common sense uh, questions. Uh, it should be uh, quite informative. We'll uh, see how it goes with Hal Sparks and Richard Hunter. I've been a frequent guest on Richard Hunter's Dallas television, uh, excuse me, radio broadcast. Okay, uh, that said, uh, I feel like I should have bells and whistles going off or like the Drudge Report, a big red siren going for this news that is coming up. And this news is so big that uh, I cannot just start the broadcast with it. I have to uh, build it up because I've, I've noticed over the years that if I come out with a bombshell info and just blurt it out up front, that it doesn't get the attention and the traction it deserves. Um, this latest uh, Homeland Security activity should be as big as the MIAC and Homeland Security reports that law enforcement now sent us two years ago where they admit that 90-plus percent of their training and preparation is for gun owners, conservatives, returning veterans, uh, white people, uh, Ron Paul supporters, people that want to get us out of the U.N. and in the Fed. Uh, this new video uh, is in an article Paul Watson has written. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist. Big sis fear campaign continues, but Americans are just as likely to be killed by peanut allergies than they are in a terrorist attack. Uh, and that's even averaging the deaths of 9-11 into the equation in the last 10 years. We're going to be going over this and playing much of the nine-minute propaganda video of the See Something, Say Something campaign they're putting on television uh, and on telescreens at Walmart's Mall of America and other uh, places where people congregate, uh, the modern town squares, the uh, modern uh, commons. Uh, this is off the charts. It, it, it shows people's blue eyes and zooms in on them and animates the blue eyes flashing over and over again and has black people and other minorities reporting on the whites. I mean, it is 100% designed to shift, see, see, first they sell you on tyranny that it's only for a group that's overall unpopular, quote, Muslims, Muslim extremists. And Hitler did that with the Jews. And then once that's in place and the police state's in place in the name of going after them, communists, stuff like that, then it's always shifted against the main target, and that's the general public. And whites, of course, on average, are the most wealthy and are still, uh, though not for long, the majority, an aging population. And, and it just flashes white person after white person and says they're going to get you, they're coming. And it shows the minority scrambling, calling Homeland Security, who then sends the good white police to stop evil whitey. Uh, so it's a classic divide and conquer. So first they sell the good old boys on... Uh, hey, we're taking everybody's rights and naked body scanning you and looking at your bank account and tapping your phone to get the evil Arabs and Muslims, uh, quote, evil Arabs and Muslims. And then uh, the entire time, it was always about landowners, gun owners, uh, pro-lifers. And, and so now they're publicly rolling out what we've been telling you for a decade was going to be white al-Qaeda. We're approaching a decade in September. That it would then be flipped, because we had the internal documents sent to us by police over the years, that it would then be flipped once the grid was in place and say, look, white people, if they got blue eyes, and it shows the blue eyes animated and flashing and burning uh, in Muslim headdress, that, that white al-Qaeda is everywhere, and the white people are with bin Laden, and those that want to get out of the U.N. are with bin Laden, and those that don't want to raise the debt ceiling are with bin Laden, and those that don't like Obama are with bin Laden, and uh, they're just, they're, they're everywhere. White people, uh, they're, they're, they're incredibly evil, they're incredibly dangerous, they're incredibly horrible, and they've got to be stopped immediately. Uh, we're going to get into that news coming up, and then first, in the first two big segments, I'm covered in all the other news. Okay? It's we have a very important broadcast lined up for you today. We have some in-studio guests, but first I want to direct you, if you're a radio listener, to our top story today. It's up at DrudgeReport.com. It was the top story. It's now moved to the second story in the right-hand column. DHS training video, white, middle-class 
Americans are the number one terror threat. It's also the top story at Infowars.com. It's an Infowars.com story. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorists. That is coming up in a detailed report and analysis of their brainwashing program and exactly what they're attempting to do with the divide and conquer system at the bottom of the hour, 33 after. Going back to Drudge, we're also going to cover another uh, story that is there, and that is America's era in space ends. That is what NASA is telling us. Now we've got to go through the U.N., the International Space Station, the Russians. Home at last, Atlantis makes historic final landing as a 30-year shuttle program comes to a glorious end. And I have a whole stack of deindustrialization post-technological uh, reports, how it is the stated design that the West be deindustrialized and only private corporate technological reservations be allowed to develop high-tech systems. It's all part of the economic development zones. It's all part of the inland ports. Uh, it's all part of the university slash corporate systems with Google and others. We're going to break down this key area uh, coming up today as well. But first, I want to get into all of the other news. Let me just do this. I I'm going to just read you the headlines of the top seven stacks I have here. Florida makes 63 million selling driver's license info. It's illegal. But they're doing it. Lawyer, cop scanners cross the line. Police tracking everyone in real time. Boston Herald, here's another. Reuters, police to begin iPhone iris scans amid privacy concerns without warrants. It dovetails with this. Austin water releases 2010, they always do it a year late, environmental leadership report. Uh, and they have uh, put out on the city of Austin's website the top 10 water wasters giving citizens names, just like they publish all over the country in newspapers, but cities also do it, the names of concealed weapon holders. It's part of a form of harassment, absolutely criminal. This is what government does with the data they have on you, violating the Privacy Act, uh, the, cons uh, the, the uh, different acts that protect citizens' information. You're not supposed to use Social Security for ID number under federal law, but then the feds demand it. It's all part of just the open criminality where they are above their own laws. Also, Pentagon looks to social media as new battlefield. French news agency, we told you this four years ago, now it's admitted they're taking over the entire web with the Internet kill switch takeover system. Also, uh, Richard... Uh, Mendenhall sues champion after 911 tweets prompted sponsor drop. Uh, state prosecutes sports fan for saying mean things on Facebook about a football player in England. He's facing years in prison. That is just some of the news dealing with the police state that is coming up. Uh, on the economic front here today, and I'm going to go back through all this in more detail. Obama U-turns as he accepts extension of debt limit for a few days if a broader deal is in place. thought the world would end if we didn't do that. Bloomberg, U.S. consumers relying on credit for basic needs. The debtor nation, once the greatest creditor nation, the greatest debtor nation, gets deeper into banker bondage to the fiat money that we give them in banker bailouts, <laughs> which aren't bailouts, they're takeovers. Jobless claims rise above expectations. Reuters, that's even with cooked federal numbers. We are three years into a depression by every mainline economic barometer. But they tell you we left the recession two years and two months ago in June of 2009. Continuing, unemployment benefits rise as job growth falters. Robo-signing fraud continues. Surprise, the banks are accelerating their criminal activity, taking homes they don't even have deeds for and never own any part of. Total criminal takeover. Why not? They started 12 years ago taking all of the death benefits of World War II vets through current vets when you die of cancer or in a car wreck or in combat, and they, you, they get you to sign on to take part of your money out for life insurance. They steal it. The deal was signed 12 years ago with the big insurance companies in secret. Declassified last year, Bloomberg reported on it, no one got in trouble. They signed with the federal government to be allowed to steal all your money. But they say you've got to cry when they put troops on TV at a sports game and support the troops by feeding them into a meat grinder. 
continuing. See, I'm unpatriotic because I want the troops to get their money that they paid into. Because I'm evil. Continuing, uh, I should just flag, fly an American flag out front at the office and made in China and then flush the troops down the toilet. Then I would be praised as pro-military. See, it's all about form and packaging over reality. They put a, 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 a load of horse manure in a box and then put on the outside of it that it's chocolate cake. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not. It doesn't pass the smell test. Continuing. Deficits and stimulus only delay the inevitable economic collapse. Detailed analysis, Bob Chapman at Infowars.com. Continuing, Fed preparing for U.S. default, says Plosser, uh, top economic analyst uh, in Reuters. Uh, Philadelphia Federal Reserve Bank President Charles Plosser said the Fed has for the past few months been working closely with the Treasury, ironing out what to do if the world's biggest economy runs out of cash and defaults. That's always been their job. Milk us, squeeze us, get in as deep a debt as they can through fraud. Over 90% of it, not our debt, the international bank's debt. And then they have the politicians have us sign on to their debt. And then we give them the tens of trillions. And then we pay interest on the money we gave them. That's f fractional reserve banking in the end game. Also, New York Times uh, reporter promotes eugenics and, quote, death panels amid budget crisis. Now they're out in the open saying, yes, they're death panels. Yes, they're good. You'll keep your jobs if we kill grandma. What did um, Bill Gates say in speeches last year? We've played the different speeches. He said, yeah, they're death panels. We, we don't take care of grandma and we, and we let her die and we get 10 teachers. They're selling and the people are clapping. Oh, yes. You know, the idea that somebody's got to lose for you to win. That's a cannibalistic imploding economy. The globalist main job is putting the brakes on a global economy. They want you dependent. The truth is with mechanization, machines, factories, robotics, technologies, we should all be living like kings. But they don't want that. They want a post-industrial world. In their own statements, NASA, the Pentagon... And, and oh, and then they respond to the economic degradation they've created with a, quote, green U.N. army to occupy countries that are imploding under IMF World Bank austerity. In fact, I never covered that yesterday, crew. Will you go into yesterday's stack and pull me? There's like three articles about the green helmets uh, and uh, the, the carbon taxes. You don't pay your carbon taxes or do what they say. The U.N., quote, green helmets invade, but it's not war. It's peace, kind of like when Obama backs all these al-Qaeda rebels all over the world to overthrow or try to overthrow governments and then openly say, well, this is good, al-Qaeda. And it, it's peace when, when our rebels attack. And then if they're losing, then the, the, the NATO and the U.S. start bombing. It's not war. It's kinetic action. It's peace. So I'm going to get into all of that. Uh, continuing uh, here with other economic news, the stack is thick. I'll get to more of that uh, later. Now, remember, coming up at 33 after, the big story. They've got ads, that uh, DHS ads, that show black people and Hispanics and others seeing white people. All the terrorists are white, and it zooms in on big blue eyes, animated, glowing like, like glacial ice. And, and it's just the whites are everywhere. The whites are everywhere. They're going to get you. You know, the, 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 the white al-Qaeda. See, first they tell the good old boys, we're going to take all the rights away of the brown people. And the good old boys are like, good, get them brown people, kill them, glass parking lot them. We get all the internal documents. It's all about gun owners, conservatives, returning veterans. Uh, then after they've got the stuff in place, they flip it and say, it's white people. They're everywhere. Now, that's already in the internal uh, police training manuals. But um, that's coming up at 33 after. Okay, continuing. With economic news, euro reaches 11th hour as Angela Merkel and Nicolas Sarkozy hold crisis talks. And you notice how this works. Europe has now had three bailouts of the banks in the last three years. The United States has had an open window of just perpetual, quote, bailouts. 70 plus percent of the money we now know going to foreign banks.